said, oh, great. That's what we need. More zombies. Hey, what's up, my peoples? Emgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Kamen Rider XA, the DX, Dangerous Zombie Gashat, and Bugster Buckle. So here we are, and there it is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. Here we have the Gashat, we have the Bugster Buckle that says words and things that I just said. On this corner here, we have Genmu in his zombie gamer form, his level 10 form. That looks awesome. 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 I love the design of that suit. And on this side of the box, we have uh, Genmu in his zombie gamer form, which again looks awesome. And on the other side, it looks awesome. And on the top of the box, you have the buckle, bug visor, buggle driver. Awesome. And on the back, on the bottom of the box, you have awesome and things and stuff. And on the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots. It does this at the other end. You have Sword Pac Man. And that's basically it for the packaging. Now, this was sold in two separate sets. Now, what I chose to buy was just the buckle and the gashette because I already own the bug visor. But you could also buy the complete set with the bug visor and the buckle and the gashette if you missed that on the bug visor when it was originally released. Um, again, since I already had the bug visor, this is all I needed to buy. But it's cool that they gave you the option. So let's get right down to it. And first, we will take a look at the dangerous zombie gashette itself. So we'll put that off to the side. So here we have a dangerous zombie. Okay, it does have that you know, metal flake sparkly sparkly finish to it, which I don't know if it's coming off very well on camera, but it's there. It sparkles. Sparkly sparkly. And we can take a look at the label there. And we have dangerous zombie. GD for gamer driver, numbers and things, speakers. Right there and there on the side. Dangerous zombie. Of course, you have the transclearing piece up top with that nice white textured paint, which I do quite like. There's your activation button. On the back, you have your QR code. If you want to scan it, go ahead, scan it. Free scan on me. You're welcome. And you can kind of see the uh, zombie gamer in there, but of course we'll see things a lot better once it is in the driver. But there you go, your typical gashetty goodness. And we push the button and we get... Yeah, it rocks. <laughs> and push the button again. No. I lost. <laughs> there you have the winning noise. There you go. <laughs> so there you have that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. You do get a nice bright white LED that goes off in there. And there you go. I lost again. <laughs> but anyway, let's get down to some henching. First, we will try this out. And our good friend here, the Gamer Driver. I always forget to have this closed. It's supposed to be closed right now. You, hmm, how dare you let me forget things. You're supposed to tell me these things, Driver. Because you can talk, right? 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 Not really, anyway. It's all my fault, but anyway. <laughs> let's get right down to it. Henshin! And there you have the standard level 1 noise. You can see the gas shag glowing in there. With that nice bright white LED. So now we will move on to level 2. So just open up the driver. And there you have the level 2 noise. You can see Dangerous Zombie all lit up in there. Pretty cool. That stays lit for a good while. There we go. And now we will move on to level 3. So we will close up the driver. Remove the gas shot. And plug it into the second slot. 
and open it back up. Wait for it. And that's a pretty cool level three jingle right there. <laughs> I like it. I like it very much. So there you go. So yeah, there you have Dangerous Zombie in the Gamer Driver. Bless you. And now we will move on to the Kimiwaza slot holder so we can hear the Koritakul Strike. So plug it in. Push the button. And there you have the critical strike for Dangerous Zombie. Bless you. And we will bring in the Gashikon Breaker so we can take a listen to the critical finish. Let's get right down to it. Pull the trigger. And of course the extra noise is randomized, so let's see if we can get it. Okay, <laughs> you didn't see that because I cut it out. That took like 10 tries, but there you go. There you have the critical finish for Dangerous Zombie. Bless you. And that's pretty much it for the gas shots. So now let's get down to the bugster buckle. And this is, it, it, this is pretty much it. It's just a, just a hunk of plastic, but hey. <laughs> This will make things happen. And as you can see, there's some nice molded detail in there. Which is nice. I mean, granted, all of this is going to get covered up once we plug the bug visor onto it. But hey, at least it's not just a plain hunk of plastic. And some nice molded detail on the back as well. And of course, this being a belt that does include belt parts. You do get your two straps right here. You do get an L and an R. And to get the belt all set up, you just take the L... And you just feed it through like that. You take the R and you feed it through the right side. Go figure. And you just clip the two in the middle right there. And you get these two loops here to hold the slack. And you just put those on. And then we just clip the belt together. Bring those over. Make everything nice and neat. And there you have the full belt and bugster buckle. Now, this is not a standard DX belt strap. This is the thinner strap. So if you have a, uh, a DX belt extension, uh, this is not going to fit on. This will not work on it. Um, so you will have to find another way to extend the belt if you actually want to wear it. But of course, there's always like a you know, shoelace, you know, like a Velcro strap or something. I've seen people even modify these belts with actual belt straps. So, you know, there are always ways to uh, make these belts wearable for adults. So, there you go. So now, what happens now is the Buckster buckle is going to be combined with the Gashikon bug visor to make the buggle driver. And this is what Genmu uses to achieve his level 10 form with Dangerous Zombie. So let's get right down to it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug the bug visor onto the buckle and that will start the henshin sequence. So just plug it in. And you get the standby noise going on. And we bring in Danger to Zombie. And we Hessian. And when you're ready to go, just push this button right here.
And there you go. You can see everything lit up in there with that nice red. You can see Danger Zombie lit up in there. And that looks really cool. And you can see that stays lit for a good while. And yeah, pretty, pretty cool. So there you go. You have now achieved level 10 Zombie Gamer. So there you have the full Buggle Driver in all of its glory. There you go. <laughs> So here's our other belt of the season. There you go. <laughs> so, but yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Now, of course, you can do your final attacks. He has two final attacks that he can do. And to start that sequence, um, on the show, he pushes both buttons, but you don't have to push both buttons. You can just push either or, and it will start the sequence either way. So push a button. And then push the A button. And there you have the critical end. And then we start it again. And this time we'll push the B button. And there you have critical dead. So there you go. And that's and that's pretty much it for the bubble driver, but yeah. Very cool. I dig it. I dig it very much. <laughs> it's definitely a, uh, it's a cool looking belt. It's an interesting belt, but then again, you know, aren't, aren't they all? <laughs> These belts are always just very interesting designs, but I do very much like it. I love the color scheme too. I love the, the purple and the silver and the black. It just looks very good together. Along with a little bit of red. Need that little bit of red there. But yeah, it looks very good. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So there you go. Now I picked this up from CS Toys, but of course there are many other sites you can go to for stuff like this if you are interested, such as Hobby Link Japan, Ami Ami, Hobby Search, Mandaraki, of course there's always eBay and Amazon, but do be wary of their pricing. You can also check out BigBadToyStore.com for some Kamen Rider items, they mostly just sell figure arts at this point, but if you want to check them out, there'll be a link to their site in the description down below, so check that out. You can also check out my Kamen Rider X8 playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Common Rider X8, DX, Dangerous Zombie Gashat, and Bugster Buckle. And this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, pull me in your face.